Is Orissa OP? And just how the hell is she designed to be played? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Salosa and this is Unit Lost. And I'll answer the first question. I don't think she's OP. We're going to need more testing, but she doesn't feel OP to me. One thing that does worry me, though, is this. Look at that. Damage done and damage blocked. Well, they're the same, and they're both very high numbers there. That is, uh, for a tank, something quite special. So we may need to keep an eye on that in the future. However, she is a really fun character to play. And it's summed up by this ability, which is Halt, the mini Graviton Surge. Look at that. You're going to see loads of kills like this in the future. People getting thrown down the well, people thrown off the map. It's just such a fun ability to use. So what we're going to do in this video is talk about her playstyle. She is very, very fun to play. And I've kind of got into this rhythm of going for this slow, steady advance, pushing the enemy back into a choke, and then trying to control the choke. I think that's how she's designed to be played. Now, I've been playing her playing pretty much exclusively since she was available. Now, obviously it's on the PTR, so you can play 10 games and only maybe two or three of those games, you'll have a proper team composition yourself and the enemy will have a proper team composition. A lot of the time, people just pick crazy picks, you know, maybe everybody, well, everybody does want to play Arissa and, you know, so they sort of throw games and whatnot. However, what you're going to see in this video is clips from me playing in games where the teams have been pretty good. So. What we've got here is Li Zhang Control Center, and you can see what I'm doing, right? I'm controlling this point. I'm trying to control this choke. I'm using my alternate fire ability, the Halt, the Mini Graviton Surge, to mess the enemy team up. Now, there is a very major sort of, uh, I guess, tip with this, or playstyle tip. When you fire this thing, you want to continue to keep firing your primary weapon to wherever you detonate this thing. So. If it hits a surface, it will automatically detonate. If it doesn't hit a surface, it will just keep flying until it just goes off the map. However, you can detonate this thing yourself, which is what makes it super interesting. So what you're essentially trying to do with Halt is fire it into the enemy team, detonate it like you see me do there on the Widow, pull them together, but keep firing on the location of wherever you're going to detonate this thing. And it goes beyond just Orissa. All the other DPS heroes, in fact anybody else, Reinhardt, anybody with a ranged attack, whenever you see this orb go in, you want to get ready to fire it where it's going to detonate, right? So just track the orb and keep firing. I've seen quite a lot of really good um, Reinhardt kills with Fire Strike going straight through this thing. Soldier as well, just keep spamming into it because it pulls people together. And if you know where somebody is going to be, well that's a major advantage, you can do a ton of damage to them. Even Anna can throw a grenade into it, it's great. It is literally a mini Graviton Surge and that's the best way to look at it. Let's talk about this thing though, the Supercharger. Currently, this gives you a 50% damage buff, and you can see how this turns you into a monster. I mean, it turns Orissa into a monster, but it also turns everybody else into a goddamn monster. Now, it can be destroyed, so you kind of have to put it into um, clever positions. Because the last thing you want is for it to get destroyed when you drop it. That would be pretty bad. Now, if it stays at 50% damage buff, I'm not sure. Maybe they'll tone it down. I don't know. That's probably something they'll look at when they've got more data. Because, of course, it does stack with Nano Boost to give you 100% damage buff. Which is uh, pretty interesting. So this is Li Zhang Night Market. Now what we're doing here is again trying to control this position. I've set up a defensive sort of bunker. And you'll notice that Soldier was with me. So me and Soldier were just working from this bunker. And firing away into that mini choke. Trying to do as much damage as we could to the enemy team. And this is where she's really, really strong. I think she's quite map dependent. Like if I look at Reinhardt. You can almost hit Reinhardt on any map that you kind of please. Arissa, I think you can kind of do that. But she's definitely way stronger on certain maps. Way stronger where she can do stuff like this. Set up this bunker. Get in position and just start smashing into the enemy team. Because Orissa does a surprising amount of damage herself anyway. Especially when she lands the headshots. It is quite difficult to land the shots with her though. Because her weapon is projectile. It's not hit scan. So you kind of have to predict where people are going. So it is difficult. You almost have to lead your shots in. You know, think if you're playing some sort of um, fighter plane game or something like that. You know, you've got to lead your shots in. You can't just fire and immediately hit the target so it is a little bit difficult but you've got so many bullets you just keep firing you never stop firing that is like one of the critical things to this hero you just keep firing keep dropping your barrier another thing with the barrier is you've effectively got an 1800 point barrier if you drop that barrier down like you notice my barrier is still up right 150 health 100 health almost left on it i can drop another barrier now and that other barrier is still active. It is still there. So I can drop another barrier. I've dropped it, but not in a great position because we're kind of losing the point. I should have probably kept onto it and then maybe walk forward here, then drop the barrier and then start it to work. You can see I've dropped the supercharger here thinking, can I take the point back? Well, of course I can't because there's like four people on there and they kill me. So that was bad use of the supercharger. In fact, it was bad use of the barrier and everything else. But it did, it does highlight how you can keep the barrier sort of in reserve, ready to go. Always deploy the barrier. I think that's the key thing with uh, Arissa. You don't want to be walking around without dropping the barrier down. 
Anywhere you can put the barrier, well, it will work well. So I dropped it there, trying to think, okay, I'll block this entrance point. Didn't quite drop correctly, but it's done enough. It's given me an entry point, and I could work in. And, of course, the team can come through behind. Now, I just want to come back to the whole idea of her being map-specific, because I think she is. King of the Hill is probably her worst sort of um, game mode, right? Payload maps and assault maps, I think she's really good because we're all working on little chokes, or she's dropping a shield onto the payload, or she's doing something like that. Of course, having this mobile 900 HP barrier on top of a payload is really strong. And, of course, you can use the payload to put the supercharger on, which is, again, super strong. What you just watched me do there is a really interesting thing on that tracer. She's actually quite strong against flankers, right? Because what you can do with Orisa is when you get hit, when you're getting dived by, like, a Genji, a tracer, a uh, Sombra, or anybody else like that, you can grab pulse them, into a position so you can line up the shots to do damage to them and that is huge because remember a lot of the, well all the flankers have got pretty much no health so if you're going to pull them together and do massive damage with headshots you're going to kill them so she is actually quite effective and she can hold her own of course she's also got fortify as well which makes her immune to crowd control effects of every single type and gives her 50 percent damage reduction which is the cap so if she uses fortify and she has nano boost she'll still only have 50% damage reduction, which is still 50%, which is still awesome. So we're going to go to King's Row now, and we're on the attack. We're with a Reinhardt this time. And this, I think, really showcases the slow, steady advance of Orisa. This is how you play Orisa on these kind of maps. I am fairly sure this... I, I can't see another way of playing it as effective as this. You are walking forward. You're with the team. You're this massive... You set up a bunker. I mean, look at that grab force. Pull them all together. It allows the team to do a lot of damage. I mean, we've got a Pharah player here. So she's going to be firing into that. Anybody with AoE damage, even a Junkrat, is going to be crazy effective against that. And I've dropped the Supercharger just to sort of cement the victory. That, though, was a key thing I just did. Drop that barrier down before the payload was there. And I'm going to do it again right here. Putting barriers down in advanced positions, getting ready for the enemy to come. Because look at it. It is a bunker. It is a barrier bunker for everybody to work from. You set your bunker up, the faster you do it, the faster you're going to have another bunker to drop down. And that is... It's insanely powerful. You know, Reinhardt, look, look again, look, I've dropped the barrier down, got another 10 seconds, we've still got 300 health on this, 200, it's about to go, so I've anticipated that. I've used Fortify because I obviously don't want to take a lot of damage. Drop the Grav Pulse to maybe try and pull somebody off the map there, because I could see the Reaper was going around the edge. What I'm going to do now is deploy the barrier on top of the payload. This again will just highlight how effective this barrier is. I mean, yeah, maybe not the greatest position. Imagine if you had a Bastion on there, though. That would be frightening, that would be really, really frightening. What I am going to do, though, is deploy my supercharger on it, and you will see how effective this is, because that supercharger is protected behind a 900 HP barrier. That is, look at it, doing work. Unfortunately, I'm about to get killed by the Genji, which is unfortunate, but that supercharger has done a phenomenal amount of work, and the barrier just seems to be staying there. So something, something happened to the barrier there. It should have been on the payload. I think, I think it fell off the payload. Who knows what happened to the barrier there? But putting the, putting the, the, the supercharger on the payload, is really powerful. There is actually a little bug right now on the Dorado payload where you can put the supercharger inside the payload. So between the sort of uh, the power core thing, which is on the, the front of the truck and the cab, you can slot it in, which is a bit stupid and probably will get fixed. But yeah, you can see how it's this slow, steady advance. Set up a bunker, keep firing. The key thing is not to stop firing with this hero. You just keep firing, firing, firing. One issue I've had is because I've played a lot of soldier, I almost want to reload and I do reload way too often. Reload in with this hero, it's pointless unless you're not in a fight, right? Just don't even bother. Being nano boosted is a major advantage for this hero as well because you can pump out quite a lot of damage because your high rate of fire is a bit ridiculous. So I think she will be one of these heroes that does get nano boosted quite a bit, especially if you've got supercharger. Supercharger nano boost combo, if that goes through onto live, 100% damage is insane. Especially for Orisa because you can just put down this massive load of suppressing fire, which does a ton of damage. Now, of course, uh, she could nano boost other targets as well, and they, that would still be massively effective while Supercharger is on them. That's if the stacking of um, those two abilities goes to life. It might not do, though, so I wouldn't get too hyped about that just yet, guys. This, though, is Li Zhang. No, sorry, this isn't Li Zhang. It's Nepal. Nepal. Uh, well, and this again shows you the idea of the bunker. The whole setup of this bunker, I've dropped my Supercharger, and I've got a, uh, this time I think I've got a, um, a Bastion with me, yeah. So this is going to show you how powerful this can be. Setting up a defensive position where you know you can't be flanked from. That is the critical thing here. There is only one hero who can really get in and do anything about this, and that is Sombra. So I think Orisa is going to bring Sombra back into the game. Because if Sombra gets in here and drops an EMP, it removes that barrier. It shuts me down from using abilities. And it, it basically removes the effectiveness of Orisa in a lot of ways. So it's going to be really strong. I mean, if Tracer tries to dive us here, or as you can see, Genji in the back line, 
He's not going to be able to touch us. You know, what's he going to be able to do? I actually get killed by Sombra now because I've moved away from my uh, little bunker. This is kind of bad play from me. I should have stayed with my Bastion there. But that, I think, is going to be a critical thing, a critical tactic with Orisa is this idea of setting up a bunker position to fire from, which does kind of make Bastion a little bit stronger, whether that's a good or a bad thing. So we're going to look at an attack here on Hanamura. Um, that was really bad play of me there. I just sort of walked forward and died. She's not actually that tanky. That's the reason why I left this in uh, the video is... I walk forward here, I just get destroyed. Like, if you don't have your barrier, if you don't have your left shift available, your fortify, you're just going to die really, really quick. So, you've got to be aware of that. But, again, you have to be aware of the playstyle, the slow advance, moving forward, and also always kill the enemy supercharger if you can, because it's such a massive buff, you've got to get rid of that. So, what we're going to see now here is this slow advance, this moving forward, this me putting barriers down, walking forward, trying to do damage, using my fortify, being there, being a nuisance, letting the team walk in behind me. It's such a fun playstyle. Ladies and gentlemen, I think Orisa is going to fit into the game quite well. When I compare her to Sombra, Sombra, we still don't really understand how to use Sombra. Orisa, I think she pretty much does what she says on the tin. She is an anchor tank, but an immobile anchor tank. She's very good at this slow, sort of creeping advance to push forward onto the enemy to destroy any kind of defensive position they've got. I think it's going to be really interesting watching this hero develop. I think she's really, really, really fun, and I think they've done a really good job designing this hero. I do, well, I was kind of a little bit surprised by the fact that she does sort of borrow abilities from other heroes in a way, especially with the graviton pulls, um, and I guess you could say with the barrier, but. You know, it seems to be working out quite well. I mean, as of right now, I think I've got around 10 or 11 hours of playtime on her. And I'm I'm really excited to play her more. Such a fun hero. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Because, obviously, as time goes on, we will get more information on this hero. We'll learn how she sort of plays in other team compositions. We'll learn if there's any tactics that can be sort of set up to help her. Or how she fits into certain maps and all that kind of stuff. If you've been playing her, let me know what you think about her in the comments below. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Salosa. This is Unit Lost, and we've just had a pretty in-depth discussion on my early thoughts on Orisa. I don't think she's OP, but I think she's one hell of a hero to play. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Salo, so you can follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming, and I'll catch you next time. Toodaloo.